58 years ago, Bill Haley and the Comets recorded one of the most popular songs in history, Rock Around the Clock. It set off a rock and roll boom both in America and far beyond its borders. Escondido is home to a man who says he founded the very first rock and roll band in the Soviet Union. I brushed up on my Russian skills and met with him to learn more. The members of this rock band were all born in a country that no longer exists. Lead singer Valery Saifedina remembers how, back in the USSR, he fell in love with rock and roll. There was a song called Rock Around the Clock, and my next door neighbor, I don't know, somehow got it and he blessed it, and I was standing, and he was playing it like 20 times, and I was standing there as a kid, totally mesmerized by the sound. That very first record he heard probably looked something like this, a bootlegged copy made on discarded x-ray film. Officially, American records were not welcome in the Soviet Union. Neither were foreign radio broadcasts whose signal was stifled by jamming stations. They jammed, but at night it will come clear and you can hear, you know, England, Sweden, Finland, Voice of America, BBC. And when I was listening to all the stations, I uh, really fell in love with American music. So what do you do if you want to play a bit of rock and roll? Well, you can start by purchasing some instruments. But for Soviet teens in the 60s, that was not an option. Valery and his friends had to build their electric guitars themselves. They used parts of acoustic guitars and stole magnets from street telephone receivers to be used for pickups. With do-it-yourself guitars and a bass made with borrowed piano strings, the group must have been one heck of an act, but fancy or not, the Avengers were the first rock and roll band in the Soviet Union. In his book, Back in the USSR, renowned rock journalist Artemy Troitsky acknowledges them as the pioneers. Many others followed, and soon, rock and roll was becoming a social movement, which authorities found was challenging their power. They thought it's an underground organization. So there was a lots of arrests. They have to disband us. They actually prohibit us to play. And if I wouldn't stop, they said that we'll exile you. Since moving to America 30 odd years ago, Valeri has been rocking away and is grateful that every day he can do what he loves.